Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. In this video I will show you how you can use OpenSSL in order to encrypt and decrypt files. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know OpenSSL is installed by default in uh, Ubuntu Linux and many other Linux distributions. Actually it's a program and a library that support different cryptographic operations. It can, for example, create hashes or generate private and public keys. It also can create certificate and digital signature. But in this tutorial, I will just show you how you can use OpenSSL in order to encrypt and decrypt files. So let's begin. So as you can see here on my desktop, I have a file called sample.sql. So if I open it using, for example, Sublime Text, you will see it's just a database, actually, a SQL statement for a database. So let's say that we want actually to encrypt this file. So in order to do it using OpenSSL, it's really easy. All you have to do is to type the command OpenSSL. Then you have to specify which cipher you want to encrypt your file with. So here I will be using AS256 with the, the mod CBC. Okay. Then space and we specify minus A. Minus A actually means the encrypted output will be base64 encoded. So it can be actually opened using a text editor or it can be attached to an email, for example. So this option is optional, so you can get rid of, of it if you don't want to use it, okay? Then space, then minus salt. Actually, this option also adds strength to do an encryption and should always be used, okay? Then we have to provide actually the input file so I will just type minus n for input and I can specify my file which is sample.sql okay then we have to provide the name of our encrypted file so I will use the option minus out for output and then I can specify the file that will be encrypted so i will just call it sample.encrypt okay then i hit enter i get something wrong yes actually i have to add here a t for output and here we go now it will ask me for actually the best phrase or the encryption key so here you have to provide a, a password or a secret password so I will just use password as encryption key here I will have to verify it so I will type it once again here we go now you can see that I have created an encrypted version of my file here so let's open this encrypted file here we go you can see now it's completely corrupted okay so it's pretty easy process now in order to decrypt this file of course I have to provide this pass phrase that I have entered here which is our encryption password so in order to actually decrypt the file you have to reverse the process but you have also to add an option here minus d for decrypt okay so the input this time will be my encrypted file which is that enc and let's actually specify as an input decrypt here okay you can add a y if you want okay so if I hit enter, it will ask me for the secret key, which is in my case password. 
here we go as you can see now on my desktop I have recreated what we call a plain text or a decrypted version of my encrypted file so let's open it using text editor and here we go you can see that I have actually my SQL statement for my database so open SSL actually is a very powerful tool that you can use in order to encrypt and decrypt your files of course you can use whatever cipher or encryption algorithm you want here I I used IS256 which is actually standard in the United States government but you can use whatever encryption algorithm you want for example three days or blowfish or as you want if you want to see all the encryption or the ciphers that are actually compatible with open SSL all you have to do is to type the command open SSL then the option list cipher algorithms okay so here you can see all ciphers algorithms that are supported by open SSL so there are quite a lot that you can use AS128 with the mod CPC or CFP so there are plenty of ciphers that you can use with open SSL so that was just a brief introduction to how you can use open SSL on the command line on Ubuntu Linux as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye